she is. Cute little outfit, got my little sunnies on. It's not like crazy cold here in Hong Kong and so I just kind of have a jacket with me. I like to, I'm totally a blazer person. I just haven't worn them a whole lot lately because it's been hot in Hong Kong, but it's starting to cool down. It's perfect for this. It's basically fall weather and I'm obsessed. But so there we have it for our outfit. I threw on some sneakers. I had to be a bit more casual um, because, well, casual is really my attire. That's just, that's just what I wear. But, I gotta sit in a chair for several hours, so you may know what that means. <laughs> if you're a woman, and you know what that means, that's what we're gonna go do. So here we go. Joby. Hi, boobies. Hi, boobies. What are you doing? What are you doing? I know, I gotta go. All right, let's go. I gotta go. Mama's gotta go. So I'm sitting at a cafe and it's the first time sitting at a cafe with my computer. So excited. I got a cinnamon latte. It's delicious. And I just feel so much gratitude. I was sitting here savoring this moment, soaking in this experience. Um, I just took a moment to just write. I'll just share the last line. I say, I love my life. I am my life. I am awake. I am alive. I feel free finally free, awakened. Oh, I love a good writing session. <laughs> Thank you.
Whew, I just got home guys and oh my gosh. First of all, I hope that you guys can hear me well because I <laughs> I broke my microphone um, and I dropped my camera when I was at the hair salon. So there's that. I'm gonna have to get a new one like ASAP, but I hope you can hear me well. I'll make sure the volume's you know, adjusted on Final Cut Pro, but yeah. Um, I feel like I need to move this up just a tad bit. There we go. Yeah, beta. Okay, so my face isn't cut off and like you can actually see my full face and I got my hair done. I'm not excited about like this section here. Like you can kind of still see where, so I'm not really happy about that per se, like especially if you like do that. Look at that. This side is a lot better. I don't know why like one sign would be a lot better than the other like I mean I know the eyebrows like we know they're they, you know they're they're Swiss's Swiss's <laughs> sisters not twins anyway um I feel like I'm kind of hunched over gosh let me let me adjust this again it's not a very kind of okay whatever so I just wanted to like pop on real quick I, I took a minute um, right when I got in to like calm myself because I had a literal panic attack inside of a taxi coming back. Um, my energy is getting a lot better. Like I was, that was a lot. Um, no, like I'll have to do, I'll, I'll talk about this more, but like getting in a taxi or an Uber has always given me so much anxiety. Obviously this relates to, you know, my trauma and my story and all that stuff. And um, I just don't like being in a car without having much control, like someone else is driving, someone else can lock the doors, like all these things, elements to story, trauma, whatever. I'm sure some of you guys are like, everything relates to that, but it, it's true. That's just what happens. This is part of my recovery. It's part of my life. And if you don't want to hear it, zoomy zoomies out. Okay. Anyway. Um, yeah, I'm just like showing real life. Part of this ch channel is like showing like the reality of living with trauma and some days are great some days are good you may not even like really think about your trauma and you know sometimes that's kind of hard some days every day I feel like there's something but you know it's there's just a lot that can happen and I think so many believe that trauma survivors should just move on and they should be over it and it's been three years, a year, five years, 10 years, whatever it is. And the reality is it leaves a legacy. We're constantly having to, you know, reshape our minds, re you know, refocus on everything that we want and desire in life. And there are things that just can put us on our toes and all that. But I say all this to say, love your people, love your friends, your loved ones, all of that stuff. But especially the people that you know that have had really traumatic backgrounds. They need to know that you're there and they care about you or yes, they care about you, but that you care about them. And um, yeah, anyway. Thank you. 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 Thank you.